All right, all right, all right. It's Brian Farrell, and I'm back again to show you how I make those past events. <laughs> Anyways, this is Brian. I'm glad to be back to show you how we make the passive income each and every day here in 2021. Thank you very much for supporting my channel, and I just want to show you guys different ways that you can make some um, you know, profits very passively without very, very much hard work at all. Of course, you know, you got to do your own due diligence. So before we get to the business side of things, let's go ahead and get through with the disclaimer. As usual, I am not your financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything you do in life, online and offline, is a risk. Do your own due diligence and accept your own risk for your own actions. Seek financial advice from a professional regarding your own financial situation. And most importantly, never spend money you cannot afford to lose. Got it? Cool. So today we're going to do a, kind of a review and recap and just let you guys know a little bit more detail about one of the wallets that I really like using, and that is MetaMask. Now, MetaMask is a wallet that supports different um, networks, and um, that's co very cool for MetaMask because they're not limited to only um, supporting one particular network. Uh, with being able to support different networks, it opens up the possibilities for um, handling different cryptocurrencies uh, more efficiently and um, gets gives us more options to choose from, essentially. So I like using MetaMask. Um, I've used it in my previous videos that I've shown you guys. And um, all these videos here, most of them, if they're dealing with anything that is um, that is dealing with a Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum uh, network, it's going to be using the MetaMask wallet. Uh, and so I showed you guys different ways to, to get this set up on different programs. And what I wanted today is just kind of go over some of the benefits of using MetaMask and how you can actually use it to, to help you out in working with a lot of new coins that are coming out and new programs that are coming out these days. And just show you, you know, basically what you need to know to make sure MetaMask is set up properly for you. Okay, so first of all, you got to have MetaMask installed on your computer, okay, or, or your smartphone. Um, so what you're going to essentially do is you're going to go to your, you're going to go to your browser, right, and you're going to actually search for um, MetaMask, and it's going to come up into the um, the, the the Chrome store because you have to actually get it from Chrome. It's a down, it's a download extension you're going to add to your computer. Okay, so it's very simple. What I always like to do is just go to start with going to Google, um, and then just type in MetaMask, right, and then you'll see it's right here, very first one, MetaMask.io. And you're going to click on download, right? And then you're going to choose um, if you're going to be using it on the desktop, using the Chrome web browser. Uh, you can use it on your iOS phone, your, your, your Apple iPhone, uh, or your Android smartphone. So whichever one you're using, you're going to choose one of these three options. Then you're going to click install MetaMask, um, and you're going to download that to your either your phone um, or your computer. Now you see here it can be used on uh, Google Chrome, which I prefer. Uh, you can use it on Firefox, Brave, or Edge, and um, it's a really great program, a great wallet to have. Um, it's just a simple extension. As you see, I have mine right here. It appears a little fox head icon will appear. So essentially, when you download that wallet, it's going to um, provide for you 12 secret keywords. Um, I already have this all on my computer, so we're not going to go through that now. There's other videos that have been made to do that. It's very easy to do. We need the 12 keywords. It's very important you write those down. Keep those offline um, so they can't be hacked. You want to keep them offline where they're, they're not available for other people to get because those are your keys to your wallet. Those are the keys to your funds that you have in that wallet. And there is no support to get the, to get back into your wallet if you do not have those 12 words. So I can't express to you how important it is for you to actually take those 12 words you're given when you're installing the MetaMask wallet and you write those down, keep them somewhere safe so that you have access to your funds in the event that you want to put this wallet on a different phone or a different computer. You just use those same 12 words to import the wallet back onto that new device, and therefore you maintain all the funds you have in that wallet will then be available on that second device or third device or fourth device, depending on how many times you want to use the MetaMask wallet, and it's all available for you to use. Okay, plus you're going to set up a password so that you, when you get ready to log in, you can log right in easily by providing that password. Okay, now the important parts that go along with that is that you 
may need to actually update the MetaMask to support more than one network. And um, MetaMask comes typically with with several networks. Um, primarily, my network that's being used on MetaMask is going to be the Ethereum network, and it will be right here. Okay. And Ethereum network is good, of course, for for Ethereum or any coins that are being used on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. However, as we all know, Ethereum uh, gas fees are crazy high right now. Okay, they're crazy, crazy high. Um, you might have a transaction that might be trying to send somebody, I don't know, or send um, a website $200 worth of ETH. And that $200 worth of ETH might cost you 30 bucks in, in fees, you know, gas fees, on the Ethereum network, which is crazy, you know. Um, but I like to use a, a different network, which is the Binance Smart Chain, and actually save money on gas fees because the Binance Smart Chain's fees are very, very inexpensive. Usually the, the transaction fees on a Binance Smart Chain network is going to be less than a dollar. And um, it's very inexpensive. Um, and the plus it's very fast as well. Okay. So once you have MetaMask installed on your computer, if you want to add uh, the Binance Smart Chain to that, I did make a video previously about setting up the Binance Smart Chain uh, right here adding it to MetaMask. So we want to go through all that detail again in this video. Um, I'll leave a link below this video to show you again how to actually set that up um, uh, if you need to set up the Binance Smart Chain. The most important thing here is that when you are setting up the Binance Smart Chain on your MetaMask wallet, um, it will it will need to reflect particular um, information in order for the Binance Smart Chain network to install correctly on the wallet. And this is going to be right here. Um, the information that you're going to need, sorry, information that you're going to need is going to be the network name, uh, the new RPC URL, the chain ID, the symbol, and the block explorer. Now, very quickly, the network name, you can choose any name you want. Um, you can name it anything you want. That's not important. Um, just something that you can recognize that it's the Binance Smart Chain. So you get to pick. But these next four lines must be used exactly as you see them right here. Um, you'll see I have to put in this URL and the in the URL line the chain ID will always be 56 the symbol will always be BNB and the block explorer will be this address here So I'll leave this information in the comments I'm sorry in the description and comments under this video so you can easily copy this information and go ahead and paste it into your um, Your wallet as you're setting up the Binance smart chain um, but the one of the cool things I really like about the um, the Binance smart chain network is that this will allow you to go ahead and use this program for many different coins. So, so once you have your Binance Smart Chain installed on your MetaMask wallet, um, using the instructions that I showed in this video, along with the details that will be uh, right here, placed underneath the video, um, then you would simply want to switch over to the Binance Smart Chain network. And you simply just click on the little icon for MetaMask, click on the network name here, and then choose your Binance Smart Chain that you set up in the last few steps. Click on that, and now you'll see the Binance Network. Now, you will need to add each individual um, contract of the coin that you want to use on the Binance Network. Okay, so essentially what that means is when you first get the Binance Smart Chain Network set up on your MetaMask wallet, um, it will support many different coins, but the coins won't be listed here as like a typical wallet. You actually won't see the coins until you tell MetaMask exactly which coins you plan on using with their wallet. And the best way to do this is to actually go over to the uh, website that I prefer to use called CoinMarketCap.com. Okay, this is a public website that actually shows you the most up-to-date um, information on all the cryptocurrencies that are out in the in the the different blockchains available across the world today okay but most importantly what you want to do is you want to get the Binance smart chain um, contract address of the particular coin you plan on using so the Binance, um sorry so the coin market cap is where you're going to be able to get the different um, information that you need for about all the different cryptocurrencies based on what you plan on using in your MetaMask wallet, okay? So let's say, for example, you were on PancakeSwap, right? And on PancakeSwap, you're doing an exchange, and you want to exchange 
um, your your uh, BNB for any other currency. Let's say if you wanted to get, um, I don't know, USDT, right? So if you want to get USDT. Well, all the coins here on the Pancake Network are actually on the Binance Smart Chain, okay? So when you go to PancakeSwap, for example, you'll have to connect your wallet to this website so you can actually access um, all the coins that PancakeSwap can swap for you and deposit them, move them in and out of your wallet for you, okay? So let's say if I want to get USDT, um, I'm going to have to go to the, the uh, crypto. I'm sorry, the CoinMarketCap website, and I'm going to look at USDT, and then I'm going to click on that. And what I need to find is the um, the Binance Smart Chain network. Okay, so you'll see here when I go to Tether, Tether is available on different networks. Right here is the Ethereum network. So if you're using MetaMask on the Ethereum network, you'll need to get this contract address right here. You can simply copy the address right here. Okay. But if you wanted to get it on a different network, you could actually just click a little more button, and here's the Binance Smart Chain address. Okay, you would copy that there. Um, if you want it on a different network, say if you're using you know one of these other networks, you can just use the copy icon as you see right here. Another great benefit of using the CoinMarketCap website is that if you click this little icon right here, it'll actually add it directly into MetaMask for you. Okay, so let's take a take an example. See, it'll tell you by clicking that, it's going to go ahead and add a suggested token to MetaMask. Now, I already have it set up, so it's going to give me a warning saying this action will edit tokens that are already listed in your wallet, which can be used to fish you. I only approve if you are certain that you mean to change these tokens request. So because I clicked on this, it's prompted me that I already have USDT as a token available in my wallet of MetaMask currently on the Binance Smart Chain. So I don't really need to do anything right now. But if you did have not done this before, you won't see this message right here. You'll just simply see the token name, and then you'll click Add Token, and that will go ahead and add the token symbol to your wallet. So whenever you, you want to send USDT, in this example, on the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet, it will display in your MetaMask wallet. Now, the really cool thing about MetaMask is that no matter if you are on the Ethereum chain, I'm going to cancel this request, or if you're on the Binance Smart Chain, you will always have the same um, receiving address for your wallet. And what that means, let me show you. So look here, my receiving address is 0x0b50, and it ends at 5600, right? If I switch over back to the Ethereum network, I have the exact same address here. Okay, you're like, well, how's that possible? Well, if MetaMask is smart enough to know that based on the type of coin you're sending to this address, it knows where to put that coin in your wallet. Okay, so if you send a, a Tether USDT um, using this code here from, a, from an Ethereum website, uh, then you're, or from an Ethereum wallet, and you send it to this address here, in MetaMask, MetaMask will put that into your Ethereum network on the MetaMask wallet, and it will go ahead and put it in the proper place for you. If you choose to actually uh, use Tether, and you want to send that to, as a smart chain, you got it from the Binance Smart Chain website, um, then you send that still to the exact same address in MetaMask. However, let me cancel that. However, you're going to be doing it on the Binance Smart Chain Network. The address that you're sending it to is exactly the same, but because the coin is already on the Binance Network when you're sending it to MetaMask, MetaMask knows to put it into your Binance Network on your wallet as well. So you, you can have all these different coins inside of MetaMask, but you don't need to have different receiving addresses for each individual coin because MetaMask uses one central um, receiving address and will use that address to handle all coins sent to it and will distribute those coins into the appropriate network in your MetaMask wallet and also the appropriate icon listing inside that wallet as well. Now again, if you have not added the particular icon, say for instance, I'm a big supporter of ADA, okay? In order to get ADA, um, one particular program I use actually um, actually earns me ADA. So I stake some of their coins 
and I actually earn ADA in return, but it's on the Binance Smart Chain, okay? So if I wanted more information about ADA, I would just click in ADA over here on CoinMarketCap, and I'll see here is the Binance Smart Chain address for that. And I can click on here to copy the address or just add it straight to MetaMask so that whenever I send any ADA on the Binance Smart Chain to my MetaMask wallet, all I got to do at that point is just send it to this one address right here. And because it is ADA, Binance, I'm sorry, because it's ADA on the Binance Smart Chain, the MetaMask wallet here will know to take that ADA and place it into its appropriate matching icon. And it knows that because I told MetaMask that here is the Binance Smart Chain address for ADA. And I added it to uh, my MetaMask wallet. And how did I add that? I just simply went down here to the very bottom. I clicked on Add Token. We copied the address right here. Make sure it's copied. All right, it's copied. I went back to MetaMask. I scroll down to the very bottom. I click Add Token. I paste in the token address. I hit Tab, and it tells me that it has already been added. But for you, it would then uh, prompt in that symbol ADA and tell you how many decimal places it is. You then you press Next, and that token will then show up as an available icon inside of your wallet. And it's just that simple. So for that reason, that's why I really like MetaMask. It's because you don't need to have a separate receiving address for every single one of these coins. You can have Ethereum on the Binance network. You can have Tron on the Binance network. You can have um, CSS. You can have uh, ADA. You can have Binance coin on the Smart Chain network. Um, you can have USDT. So all these different coins are available. And as long as you can tell... MetaMask, the contract address for that particular coin you plan to use, then going forward, all you have to t use is this main receiving con uh, main receiving wallet address to send those different types of coins to MetaMask, and MetaMask will then go ahead and put them in the proper place inside your wallet. Okay, so that's just a quick update and let my uh, rundown and tell you a little bit more detail about how MetaMask works. I hope this wasn't too confusing for you. Uh, please go ahead and rewind it and rewatch it again if, if you missed anything. And um, I really wanted to help you guys to understand the benefits that you can use with MetaMask and different um, smart chains that are coming out these days because um, smart chains are great. They're very fast. Smart contracts are even better on the smart chains, on the, the blockchains, uh, because the smart contracts, uh, they do things automatically for us and they can't be stopped uh, once they're activated on the the blockchain, they run forever, and there's no person that can interfere with their transactions. And the, particularly the Binance Smart Chain um, network is very fast. And so if you're using any contracts on the Binance, um, any actual smart contract programs on the Binance Smart Chain, your transactions could be very fast, plus the fees are very minimal. And if you want to see any of those programs, you can always come back here to my channel. You can click on my name and you can see all those details like right here if you click my name um, you'll go to my channel where you can see all my videos um, it'll be look a little different from you and if you ever see that I'm giving you information about any of these programs and you want to get more information or you want to get the links to get started with that program I want to show you guys I always 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 will put the information that you need to get started in the in description underneath the video Simply right here, you're going to click Show More, and you'll see all the de details you need about that particular video. Plus, if you scroll down on my videos, I also give the same information down here in the Whoa. comments. It smells like a man. All right, stop those ads from running. And like I said, if you scroll down and you actually look at my videos, my first comment is always going to be a pinned comment. If you click read more, it's going to be the same details that you would need in order to use this particular information provided on this this video. Okay, and I do that because sometimes when you put links in the description of the video, uh, YouTube will cut the link off if it's a little bit too long. And so by placing that same information here into the comment section on the pinned post, the very first post at the very top of the comments, you'll see the same information here as well. 
All right. So that's Brian Farrell signing out, just showing you guys how to use the um, MetaMask wallet in regards to the Binance Smart Chain and all the different coins uh, that can be sp supported on the Binance network um, and through MetaMask wallet itself. So thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Please go ahead and hit that like button after you reach the end of this video. I thank you very much for your support. Hit the subscribe button so you get added to my YouTube channel so you get to see all these different ways that I show you how to make money through passive income means, mostly in your sleep. You don't need any referrals. Uh, very little to any money, very little money needed, if any at all. Of course, if you do spend more money, you make more money faster. If you do have referrals, you make money faster. But these are optional choices for you. And I just want to present you guys different ways that you can take your time or take some of your money and and invest it in a way that you can earn some some good uh, passive profits on your own after you've done your own due diligence and just make that passive profit over and over and over here in 2021. All right, so this is Brian Farrell signing out. Thank you much. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know if there's anything you want me to, to go over in the future videos. I thank you much for my support, and um, I hope you have a great rest of your 2021. Brian Farrell signing out. Peace.